Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the review channel. If you have a pair of shoes and you're trying to fix the heel, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the review channel. Today we're talking about something totally different, fixing these shoes. What do you think about these shoes? Well, they're kind of old and they're kind of different. Um, so we need, need a couple different things to fix them. We need to have some heels because the heels are gone. Heels are missing, but the rest of it seems in really good shape. But these are actually in very nice condition, these shoes. So we'll do a little bit of sanding. We're going to just repair some of this uh, little heel here, the back of this the foot here you can see is coming off a little bit and we're just going to get some contact cement uh, so contact cement is very important this is what you want to use for this um, uh, just using a well vented area um, gonna need some tools gonna need um, basically a scissors some cutters some snippers things like that just to cut this this rubber I got these online these rubbers um, these replacement heels and you can see here they're oversized because you know, that's all I could find online just the oversized and it's way too big for the shoe but you just have to trim it out and just cut it down and trim it out so it fits exact. And that's the goal behind the heel. Um, so once you cut it and trim it, it should fit pretty good. They're both bad, as you can see here. So I gotta repair both of these. So we're just gonna go through this video. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of fast forwarding. I'm just gonna go, just gonna get right to the nuts and bolts of it. But it's basically, we're gonna clean the bottom of the shoe. We're gonna re-cement this back on. We're gonna trim it out and we're gonna stick it on. That's it. Well, I'm not a cobbler. I'm not a shoe guy, but you know what? She wants them fixed, so we gotta fix them. That's the goal behind it. So we're gonna just contact cement this all down first get that all ready clean this one off clean off all the old stuff here you can see it's just, it's just brittles falling right off and we'll just clean the rest of this off get it all ready to go we'll get it all prepped and then we'll put the new whole new soles on and we'll see how it comes out we have like a chisel uh, to get the rest of this old heel off and you can see it's just, it's just pretty much just disintegrating coming right off and i just want to just get the rest of that old heel off it's just basically just falling right apart and you can see here all right, guys, I won't bore you with the whole detail, but you can see here, you really got to clean it off really good. I use a chisel, um, make sure it's clean, sand it down, get all the old glue off. It does take some time. This took me around 15 to 20 minutes to get it clean. I just fast forwarded here just to speed up the process. Uh, make sure it's clean and let's continue. You can see this one here. This one just came right off, like clean. Look at the difference, how clean that is, right? That's like literally just needs a little prep work and it's going to go right back on. This one here needs a lot of the work because it's all you can feel all the high points here and the heel won't sh uh, sit flat so you got to make sure you get those that glue off one shoe and i'm gonna do one shoe because this one will be easier it's pretty much all cleaned off this one here needed, needed most of the work and i also want to glue these this part down here so i'm gonna glue that all down and get that all prepped and let that sit so i'm just gonna get inside here and let the glue fall in there and just Try to repair that part that's sticking out. And just use the brush to get in between inside. And let the glue fall a little bit inside the thing, inside the, the shoe itself here. I guess I'm not a cobbler, so however it comes out, it comes out. This little stick I have here a little plastic stick I'm just gonna just make sure it gets in that groove just like you see I'm doing here in the back just like that wipe that off that stick I like that stick and we're just gonna press it on let it dry for a minute it's gotta dry this prompt the premise behind the um contact cement is that you get the, the glue to dry a little bit it becomes a little tacky and then it'll stick really well that's the goal we clean off this heel I'm not ready yet to do that doesn't take long, so I'll let this sit for five minutes or so, and then we'll uh, continue putting on the heel. Yeah, so it's drawing a mark on the heel. Yeah, so basically just trace it around. The idea is just to cut it out. You can always trim it down with a little sandpaper, but this is the goal. A little pen, and just go around the heel, and just Basically, any kind of mark you can get as a guide. See here, hopefully you can see, we do have an outline. I'm gonna cut that with some scissors. Let's move that to the side. Let's see if I can cut with some scissors. Yep, and pretty easy to cut, not too bad. These are little industrial scissors, so. Always go a little extra. Because you can't make it longer, but you can always make it shorter. Rule of thumb, guys. Always make things 
just a drop longer. You can see here, I'm cutting it. And just straight down the back side, just like that. So, that's our cutout. Okay guys, so I won't bore you too much with the cutout, but you really just have to take your time and just keep trimming it. I just had to keep trimming it. You don't want to go too close too quickly because you don't want to, you can't add material. So you can always take away the material, but you can't add it. And finish doing that, and then we're going to prep it for glue. That's the most important part besides the cleaning. All right, let's continue with the project. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of going around and I'm just making sure the notches are correct, making sure the edges are fit correctly, and it's just to keep dry fitting it and keep dry fitting it. Um, so you just want to get it so it kind of fits in the contour of your shoe. Every shoe is different, so you can adjust these as needed, uh, depending on the shoe, man shoe, woman shoe, whatever it is. Uh, so you can adjust them, and I'm just really just going back and forth and making sure I got this correctly. And now I'm putting on the glue, uh, let that sit there for a while, make sure it gets hazy, a little, little shiny, and that's how you know it's ready to go. This is context, man. once you put it on, it doesn't really move, so make sure you get it right once. Take your time, uh, and let's continue. Okay guys, so it's been about a couple of minutes, and I just wanna just attach this piece here, and let's get this glued on. Let's go, moment of truth. All right, let's make sure we get it. The heels squared up as much as possible. So if it's a little bit wet, it's okay. Way it'll, it'll dry on its own. The back looks even. Just push it up just a little bit. That's the drop there. And like that. It's a drop like that. And now it looks decent. And I'm just gonna. Put some pressure, even pressure, guys. That's all you have to do. even pressure. Could put some. I don't have a vice. I don't. I can put. I'm gonna put a couple of books on this just to hold it down. <laughs> let it sit for about. I would say 24 hours. Let it let it sit as long as you can. Don't don't rush the process. Um, you want to make sure it's just gonna st uh, stick and bond perfectly. Not bad at all. All right, perfect. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna work on the other one. So you pretty much saw how to do that. I'm not gonna bore you with the second one. Just make sure it's clean. Make sure you get all that stuff off. Take your time. This is pretty much how I did it. Uh, I'll leave some uh, links for some contact cement. I'll leave some links below for a heel. I got, I'm not a professional, so please, if you're not comfortable with repairing shoes, definitely hire a professional like with anything else. This is just my way of doing things. So make sure you have a well vented area when you're working with cement to make sure you're comfortable using tools, things like that. So if you're not comfortable, don't do it. Go to a cobbler. But I like to try different things and challenge myself and just to see how things work out. I think it looks kind of cool. Not bad. I think it's going to work out. All right, guys. So I appreciate you tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. It makes a big difference um, when you do that. It really helps me. So hit that like button. That's before and after. You can see that's the way to do it. So it'll be cool when I get done. Also, if you enjoyed the content and I brought you some value, there is a super thanks button below that does help support my channel. Everything I raise with that does go back into the actual channel itself. And we do everything, everything we do here, we put back into the channel and we do more projects to teach you different things and how to do stuff. So we buy all our supplies and everything with the money that we raise in our channel. So if I brought you some value, definitely consider hitting that super thanks. It does support my channel. And I do appreciate that as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell that you'll be notified when the next video is ready. I do all kinds of cool and different things. So if you want to learn something different, definitely this is the channel for you. Also bookmark it. That way when you want to come back and say, oh yeah, how do I do something? Let me just check it out. Definitely hit that. So I definitely appreciate that as well. All right, guys, that's it for me. i see you at the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to check out all these videos that are playing here. Click on any one of these videos and I'll show you what I do. Everything is all kinds of cool stuff. All right, I'm glad you enjoyed.